G'day boys and girls, today we're going to visit Claire. Claire is a chartered accountant. So she needs to account and we're going to wonder, work out, can she use a, a, a calculator? But of course she can. So we're going to get a cup of tea and a wee bun while we talk to Claire. Here we go. <laughs> Enjoy that song, Jesus is the light, let him shine. Okay, Claire, over to you and tell us all of what it means to be a chartered accountant. G'day boys and girls, today we are with Claire. Claire is an accountant. Claire, say hello to the boys and girls. Hello boys and girls, hope you're all good. Claire, is this your uh, is this your office? Sorry, I just happened to notice it, bun. <laughs> Do you mind if I eat Be it? Be in my cupboard, Come Sorry, on. I just happened to notice it sitting there. <laughs> yes, well, this is my home. And since COVID, obviously lots of people started to work from home and um, I work here a couple of days a week. So this is why Colin's here, but we also have an office in Lisburn and I'm also there a few days a week too. Is this your business partner? That's her. She Look keeps me right. That's Stella. Stella, how are you? Say hi, so, Stella. Lots of people can work from home, whether you're office or home, the work keeps going on, Claire. And that's the, the, that's the beauty of being an accountant or something like that, because you can take it all with you and yeah. work at home. But you might have buns in your office in Lisburn. Only if you're very special and you're coming in, I would make sure there's buns. <laughs> might have got a bun. It might not have got a bun. <laughs> Don't be back here. <laughs> Claire, what is an accountant? I knew you were going to ask me that question, Colin. It's really difficult to explain. So an accountant is somebody who works out how much tax you have to pay. Now, what is tax? Tax is something that you have to pay in order to pay lots of other people's wages. So the likes of doctors, road workers, teachers, they all need to be paid. So everybody that's working has to pay tax in order to allow them to be paid. 
Claire, when you were a little girl, did you always want to be an accountant? I wanted to be an accountant from when I was 14 years old. And I remember one of my best friends at the time said to me, you cannot be an accountant. That's one of the most boring jobs you could ever do. Uh-huh. But something within me, I just wanted to do it. Maybe it was the Lord setting out the path for me, but never wanted to be anything else. Are you a Christian, Claire? I'm a Christian and I got saved whenever I was four years old. To be an accountant, you have to do well at school. Is that important? Yeah, so you have to do seven years at high school. You know, Mm -hmm. you have to do your A-levels and then you go to university. And then after that, if you want to be a chartered accountant, you have to do another three and a half years. A char- what's the word chartered mean? Um, it basically means that you've done special exams to say that you're a chartered accountant. And it, it basically means that you have been taught exactly how to do it the right way. And you're qualified? Yes, you're qualified. Uh-huh. So Claire, uh, uh, my basic understanding of being an accountant is you have a calculator and you count. Yeah. It's obviously more than that, but it's also a part of maths. Is that right? It is, yeah. But I was never that good at maths in primary school. I actually had to get some extra help with my maths. And lots of people say to me, you must be good at at numbers. And I often say, well, I'm good at using a calculator. But yes, it's very mathematical. And I'm much more a numbers person than a words person. So Claire, if somebody's struggling at school, would you encourage them to get help and to keep trying? I think if it's in you, yes, you should push. And to be a kind of, do you meet people then, customers? We meet clients, lots of different people every single day of the week. So uh, today I'm meeting you. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's a and privilege. I met clients this morning. I might meet bank managers. I might meet people who help you to buy your first home, like a mortgage advisor. I might meet other business owners. So really, no day is ever the same as another for me. It's really varied. You always meet happy people. No. <laughs> Do you ever get people stressed out and frustrated? Yes, I especially get stre- people who are stressed out in January because that's the time that people have to have their tax bill paid, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. So we would come along and say, you have to pay £3,000 and they get very stressed. And uh-huh. sometimes I feel like... Sorry I'm, for them? I, well, I feel sorry for them, but sometimes like I'm really the messenger. Yeah, yeah. You know, and people can get quite irritated yeah. with you. But yes, you get bad days, you get good days, and you also get in between days. Mm-hmm. And just the way the kids would in school, you know, days can be tough and you can think, oh, I don't want to go to school tomorrow because today has been too hard. But often the next day is a lot better. Um, mm-hmm. But yes, people are going through hard times. And Claire, as a Christian, do you find God helps you in your work or there's time you, you need him to help you? I need him every single day. So I am naturally not a really smart person. I always have to work at it. And even through all my exams, continually I would have had to pray and still do to say, Lord, now you have me here for a reason. And I feel like I'm in the right place. So you're going to have to help me to do what I need to do to to do this job. And I have three little girls aged 10, 7 and 2. And I always say to them, if you're struggling with your spellings or your tables or your maths, it's okay to pray and say, Lord, so I'm really finding school, this tough. It's a good time in primary school to start praying. Oh, yeah. yeah. You need to start now. Can I have your favourite Bible verse you would often think about? Yeah, so my favourite Bible verse for many years now is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand and of my righteousness. righteousness. Why is yeah. that? Why do you like that one? Um, I think in the world we live in, fear is all around. And I think we can very easily be caught up in fear and anxiety and worries. And I never knew what stress or anxiety was until I was... 20 Mm -hmm. and now I hear children and my own children say mommy I'm stressed out (laughs) and I think you know we need to rely on God more we need to say do you know what Lord we don't need to worry and of course we all do but we need to say Lord take that worry away or help me with that worry or Mm -hmm. help me not to be as anxious and the Lord will help Mm -hmm. and he's always there and I often say to my own girls even when mommy can't be there, there's somebody even better who can be. So if you're facing a, a tough time in school or maybe a friend's been nasty to you or there's a bit of work you can't do or you don't understand, just say a wee quiet prayer and say, Lord, help me with this. Very good. And he will. And Claire, if there's children watching and they would say, I would love to be an accountant, would you encourage this profession? Absolutely. I love what I do. And people still say to me, I don't know how you do it. It must be the most boring job in the world. But honestly, I can say I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. I love what I do. You love what you do and do what you love? 
Yeah. Is a lot of it computer based as well? More so now than ever. So whenever I was just starting out, we had to do it all on paper. So mm -hmm. I would have been writing out numbers all day long, like every single, you know, like a bank statement. Yeah. Every single line on the bank had to be written out on paper. Now we use like proper software to do that and spreadsheets. And so it's. it's do you still use a manual efficient. calculator? Oh yeah. Do you look at the numbers whenever you do that? What do you mean? You, sometimes you go into buy. No. You don't look at the no, numbers? No. Can I see you doing that now? <laughs> <laughs> this should be 251.07. <laughs> what a girl. <laughs> Without even looking. A nutshell, um, Claire, a, a person would come in with their receipts and mm -hmm. you prepare their, their, their books for them. Yeah, so quite often what they'll do is they'll come in and they'll just set that down on my desk. And they'll go away for a couple of weeks and I will look at all this mm -hmm. and put it all together and I will say, right, people paid you £30,000 this year and then you paid other people £20,000 for like, you know, for wages or whatever. Yeah. And I'll work out their profit, which is what's left, mm -hmm. and tell them what tax they need to pay. In a nutshell, that's what In a nutshell, yeah. that's, what, that's what most of my work is. So are you still learning or have you learned at all, Claire? I have to do 70 hours learning a year to make sure we're on top always of your game. on top of our game. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Claire, our time has gone. Um, boys and girls, this is Claire, an accountant. I've known Claire for a very long time. And it's nice to meet someone who's totally satisfied with her career, with her profession, and totally recommends it. Of course, behind all this is God being with Claire every day through her little children and also helping her each day at her work and it's really encouraging. And that's the secret in life. Find Christ and also make sure he's with you every day and be content with God as well. And I love that Bible verse you shared, Claire. Really, really good. Fear not. Don't be afraid. Trust and worry. The more you trust, the less you worry. The more you worry, the less you trust. Claire, say bye to the boys and girls. See you all later. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Whoa, did you see the speed of the calculator? I really enjoyed that, Claire. Thank you so much for just sharing a little bit about what it means to be an accountant, a chartered accountant. Such an inspirational job, no doubt to be able to use your brain, your fingers, and put it all together, and to be an accountant, to be able to count. How many of you enjoy maths, mathematics more than any other subject? Let's finish with a song about pieces and forgiveness. Here we go. You take all the pieces of my life Put them back together, make it all alright Whoa, won't you forgive me Only you can heal my broken heart Make all things new with a brand new start Whoa, won't you forgive me You forgive me I try so hard to do things right But I make the wrong choice sometimes And you forgive me No one knows me, God, like you You see who I am, not what I do And you forgive me You take all the pieces of my life Put them back together, make it all Can heal my broken heart, make all
Wonderful song. Claire, thank you so much again for sharing not only a cup of tea and a couple of buns, but especially what it means to be a chartered accountant. Boys and girls, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.